With the new screenplay control in UiPath, you just write what you want to automate in your user interface and your robot will do it for you. So about 80% of those of you watching are not yet subscribed to my channel. So if you like what you see and you want more of it, please hit the subscribe button right now so you don't miss out and you support my channel. So what is screenplay? Well, it's an agent. And let's just quickly define agents in a broader sense. An agent is someone or something that acts on behalf of someone else or something else. This client says what it needs or states a goal and it's up to the agent to plan out an execution that meets that goal. And actually screenplay was up until just a couple of weeks ago known as UI agent. But inside studio, it's really just another control. It's just a very, very cool one. Why you might ask? Well, screenplay uses both language models and action models, language models to understand what you want and what it sees on the screen, and then an action model to decide how to act on its interpretation of all of this information. So in short, you just write what you want your robot to do and screenplay makes it happen. Is it magic? No. Is it magical? Well, maybe not, but it's pretty impressive. So let's have a look. So I'm inside studio in an empty project here. And the first thing you want to check is your dependencies because you want to be using UI uh, automation activities. Um, I'm using version 25.10.15, which is a preview version. If you uh, I believe use anything from 25.10.8 and up, I think, then you will have screenplay uh, available in your toolbox. Also, if you are using UiPath Studio Web, make sure that you have inside of automation ops. Let's just quickly take a look. Make sure you have a policy deployed that in the uh, activities uh, tab here says that uh, preview packages and activities are enabled. So if you don't do that, you won't have it in Studio Web, but it does work in Studio Web as well. We'll jump back into Studio. So the first thing, of course, we want to do is we want to go to our activities pane and search for screenplay. I'll drag it in. And what happens is that it places itself inside a use application slash browser scope. That's because screenplay at this time, at least, is a single application agent. It can work within the scope of one application. There are talks that it might in the future work across applications, but for now you need to place it inside uh, a use application or browser scope. So we need to, of course, indicate what application is it we want to automate. So I'm going to open the good old trusty calculator, click the indicate application, and then click my calculator. Now Screenplay knows that this is where we are going to do some work. Now inside of the task here, this is where I state my goal. Um, so I'll just write, what is the sum of two and seven? like that. So I'm not really asking it to add two and seven. I'm asking what is the sum of two and seven. And we'll see if it can interpret that and then find out how to use calculator to give me an answer to that. Also, we can select what model do we want to use. By default, it uses OpenAI GPT 4.1, and that's fine. One thing we do need to do is go over here in the uh, properties, and we need to um, go to the result property here and create a variable. We'll just call it result. And that's where it will tell us what was the result of what it did. So now, basically, we just built a very simple um, automation. We are going to add one more little uh, activity here. We'll just go message box, I think. And here we will simply write whatever is in that result variable we just created. So let's try and run this. And now the agent is trying to figure out, okay, what should I be clicking in order to give the user that result? So it clicked the two button, it clicked the plus button, and let's see what it clicks next. I'm hoping the, was it seven? I hope it was. <laughs> and then it's going to hopefully click the equals button because it needs to give me that sum and show it in a message box. So let's see if that happens. It did. 
the sum was nine. So this is a very, very simple example of how uh, screenplay can, can do stuff without being told exactly what to do, just being told what it is you need the outcome of its actions to be. And screenplay is really good for these sort of very small, very isolated scenarios. It's not really meant for more complex scenarios. Well, it might be, but um, yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's try and push this to maybe not its limits, but at least see if it can understand and act on more uh, complex information. So uh, I have another window open here. I'll just close my, uh, my platform. Here we have hotels.com and the website is in Danish. We can see here that my uh, uh, last search was for Copenhagen in Denmark for uh, one night from November 18th for one traveler in one room. That's what it says in Danish. We'll do it in Danish just to see if we can trip up the agent a little bit here. So now we're going to say that we need to order a, a room at some other dates in another city and maybe for two people. So we'll go uh, back to studio and we'll actually delete uh, this activity go back to uh, go back to the activities pane drag in another one indicate the browser as our application and then we're going to say uh, give me the total price of a room for let's say two adults in paris uh, five star hotel like I could afford that um, from let's just say October 15th for three nights something like that it's going to save um, again the result in a result variable and then we're going to do the same thing as we did before message box Oh, that puts out the result. So let's see if it can figure out how to do this. I'll just close my browser just to start from a completely blank slate here. So uh, let's uh, try and run this. It's going to probably run for a little while. I'll uh, speed up the video so you don't have to watch all of that because it's going to try probably quite a few things. Let's just try and see what happens. Okay, so it came back with a result, and it's not exactly what we asked for. It did mess up the dates a little bit. Uh, first, it tried to do four nights. I asked for three nights, then it ended up doing one night, and it actually ended up giving me the result for three different hotels. So let's just uh, quit the automation and just double check our prompt here. Give me the total price of a room, not three rooms, for two adults, it did figure that out, even though it had to go into that sort of special control where it had to click the plus sign to get two adults. Uh, in Paris, did get that right. It did filter out uh, only five-star hotels and uh, it did get the right month, but didn't get uh, three nights from October 15th. So you might be asking yourself, when should I use this? What does it cost? Stuff like that. Well, costs aren't completely locked in yet. Screenplay is still in a public preview. But at scale, there will be a cost used to a lesser extent and in development. You might get away with not having to spend any uh, consumable units. The next question, of course, is should you use it and when should you use it? And that's the tricky part. There are definitely scenarios where screenplay is a great fit. Scenarios where the UI, the process logic or the semantics are just too sick and twisted for traditional RPA using old school selectors. That's where this is a no brainer. As an example, I'm using it in an automation where I'm updating cells in this proprietary table style control. It's not just a table. It's in an ERP system that's literally from the last millennium. Normal selectors in that situation is a no-go. And for that, screenplay has really worked wonders. And if you don't like the idea of spending units and running costs and all of that, you have to weigh the cost of a few consumable units against the savings of much less development time and likely much less uh, maintenance as well. Screenplay, if you use it right, I think will definitely be 
a good investment. Having said that and having shown you the crazy hotels.com demo, I would not use screenplay in that kind of scenario. It's too slow. You know, that automation took about five minutes. There are too many unknowns. It'll likely cost a lot more units to run it. And personally, I think for a long, long time, I'll be using screenplay in these sort of micro scale scenarios, very isolated cases. UiPath will likely release some kind of guidance on this when we get closer to GA release in probably mid-November. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Make sure you give this video a like if you liked it. And again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that button now before the next video starts. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you hopefully in the next one.